And to control the brightness of that LED, all we have to do is move the slider. It doesn't get any easier than that. Hey, hey, what's up guys? We are back again with the Particle Photon. This is such a cool little board. I wanted to play with it some more and I wanted to show you how you can control this board in real time using your phone. So for this little demo today, let's see how close can we get before it goes out of focus. All right, I've got this red LED here on digital zero, this red LED on digital three, this red LED is on analog four, I believe. Yeah. And this potentiometer is on analog three, just different things that we can control. So again, it's not going to be plugged into a computer. I'm simply going to plug it into a power bank. And now it's ready. So we get the phone, and we launch the particle app, and we select our photon. And here we have a representation of all of its pins. So we can control this in real time. All we have to do is select a pin. For instance, we have the red LED on digital zero. So we select digital zero boom I did a right and now you can see it says hi and the LED is lit hit it again low LED goes out same for digital 3 it says hi yellow LED is lit now over here this one a4 is set up for an analog right so if I hit this one you can see we have a slider at 0 take it up just a little bit say 49 and the red LED is dimly lit hit it again we take it all the way up to the 255 and you can see that red LED is burning so bright it looks white let's turn it down to a reasonable level <laughs> oh there we go 120 now you can see it better. Now, A3, we have our potentiometer on, is set up for an analog read, and you can see right now it's registering 2592. If I tweak it a little bit, touch the button again, 3530, and if I turn it all the way up, 4094. And then if I turn it all the way down, hard to get my big sausage fingers in here 27 and well I guess one is as low as I can get it so pretty cool right so let's take a look at the board here now you see all your different pins if you touch one it'll tell you what it's capable of digital read digital write over here we have the WKP, analog read, digital write, analog write, digital write. We have our DAC, analog read, analog write, digital read, digital write. Oh, let me turn this light off here. Recording. There we go. You guys might be able to see a little bit better now, right? A5, analog and digital. A4 is already set for the analog. A2 can do analog read, digital writes, digital reads. And that's about it. All controlled just by touching this, selecting your particular photon, and picking a button. So let me show you how easy it is to set something up. All right, I've got a green LED here with the resistor soldered onto the cathode. So let's pick a pin. Um, what did you guys say? D7, digital 7? Okay. 
So let's bring this up here. D5, D6, D7. So we've plugged our green LED into D7. Then you can touch D7. And we want to do a digital write to it. So now you see it has the red circle around it and it's ready. All we have to do is touch it. And it's lit. Touch it again, it's out. And yes, you can control multiple things on here. So that's about it for the photon for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.